the third week of September, the Ukrainian armed forces liquidated 8,620 Russian military personnel. It was also possible to destroy 224 artillery systems and 159 armored fighting vehicles. This was reported by RBC Ukraine with reference to the telegram of the army commander, Alexander Pavlyuk. During the week of September 15 to 22, Russian losses amounted to around 8,620 personnel, he said. In addition, the Ukrainian armed forces managed to destroy 88 tanks, 159 armored fighting vehicles, 224 artillery systems, 9 MLRS, 2 air defense installations, 339 vehicles, 60 units of special equipment. Additionally, the Ukrainian military destroyed at least three Russian missiles and 394 UAVs. A total of 1,278 weapons and military equipment were destroyed. Russian troops are intensifying in the Liman direction. The number of attacks here is the same as the number of attacks in the Poprovsky direction. As noted at the Institute for War Studies, the Ukrainian armed forces repulsed mechanized attacks from the Russian Federation with a large amount of equipment. At the same time, the advance of Russian troops was noted near Liptsy, Kapyansk, Kremenaya, Toraysk, as well as in the Kursk region. Ukrainian defenders in the Kurohovsky direction near the village of Konstantinovka, Donets region, managed to repel a massive attack by Russian troops. Then the enemy uses 20 units of equipment when trying to break through. It was recorded that Russian troops tried to break through the defense of Tauride paratroopers from the Ukrainian 79th OMBR in this area, and Russian hopes were in vain vain. In total, the Russians used 14 armored vehicles with infantry and 6 tanks to attack near Konstantinovka. The Russians failed to provide a surprise, the 79th paratroopers opened fire on the enemy columns even before they began to advance to the attack line, reports the Tauride Brigade. Thus, artillery, attack drones, anti-tank missile systems are used to destroy enemy forces and assets, and minefields also become obstacles to Russian movements. During the battle, the Ukrainian army burned two Russian tanks and two armored vehicles along with troops. Another tank took a humiliating hit. In addition, Tauride paratroopers added, attack drone operators conducted, spectacular safaris, against dismounted enemy infantry. On September 21, the air assault force of the armed forces of Ukraine demonstrated how Ukrainian defenders resisted a massive attack by Russian troops, which lasted all day. Then 24 breakthrough attempts were recorded, and the Russians threw 52 pieces of equipment from various directions. <laughs> 